I'm here with Assemblywoman Donna Lopardo, who's been a member of the New York State Assembly since January 2005. She represents the 123rd Assembly District, which includes the city of Binghamton and the towns of Vestal and Union. She currently chairs the Assembly Agriculture Committee and also serves on the Higher Education, Economic Development, Rules, and Transportation Committees. She has been an outspoken advocate for the Southern Tier and has championed public and environmental health legislation. She authored the Safe Drinking Water Act and was the driving force behind the creation of New York's Industrial Hemp Pilot Program. Now as chair of the Agriculture Committee, Assembly, Assemblywoman Lopardo continues to work tirelessly to revitalize the state's agriculture sector. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. So it's been 50 years since the first Earth Day when people across the US came together to fight for a healthier world. Now more than ever, people are relying on the natural world as a source of calm and health. Can you uh, share what Earth Day means to you? Well, I mean, to be honest, it was a defining moment in my life. I mean, so much so that that Earth poster has been on my wall since college. And it uh, galvanized a generation, galvanized generations to come. It will be something that turned a corner on terms of bringing people together about raising awareness about the fragility of this place we call home. Um, at, the, at the anniversary, the 20th anniversary, I helped organize with a, a group of friends um, an Earth Day celebration. Earth Day Southern Tier was the group that came out of that, and it has been the longest continually operating Earth Fest, uh, certainly one of them in the country, until this year. Uh, with this pandemic, we're going to be missing our 30th uh, Earth Fest. So it was a defining moment for me, galvanized a generation, and mm -hmm. really was um, an inspiration to everything I've done in my life. It has uh, been an organizing principle, a way I approach my life, and a way that I uh, think about policy. It's been very important to me. <laughs> um, on policy, you've been an environmental champion. What environmental policies are you most proud of or most excited about? Uh, accomplishing in the near future? Well, oddly enough, uh, back in 2013, I was walking through our Earth Fest that I just referred to, and I came upon a couple of students who were giving out brochures uh, representing Vote Hemp, talking about how important was, it was for states to start organizing on legalizing this very valuable crop. Mm -hmm. And I introduced a piece of legislation, and it's probably the proudest thing, thing I'm the most proudest of because uh, we have passed uh, numerous bills and are one of the largest growers of hemp in the Northeast, New York is, mm -hmm. and it is part of our entire approach towards regenerative agriculture and a restorative economy. Uh, you can make almost anything out of hemp, and I think people will look to hemp as a way of replacing, you know, highly industrialized textiles and plastics, and also it can be very good for, for one's health, and, you know, it's certainly a valuable grain. As you know, people are buying hemp seeds, mm -hmm. very strong fiber, CBD products. It's been a wonderful thing. I'm very, very pleased with the way uh, the community has embraced it and our farmers as well. Absolutely. And uh, um, on behalf of New York, thank you for your work in that. And you're thank you. um, <laughs> part of uh, um, a uh, growing group of legislators that are making New York a, a better place to live. So appreciate uh, you joining us today. And have thank a great you. Happy anniversary, Earth Day. Thank you, too.